खुशखबरी आपको और दर्शकों को दे दे जयराम ठाकुर द चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ हिमाचल हैज वन हिज सीट जयराम ठाकुर हैज वन हिज सीट लेट्स गो क्विकली अक्रॉस लेट्स गो क्विकली अक्रॉस टू गृह एट द लाइव रिजल्ट हाफ Yes Griha Yeah we are absolutely we are we are getting this input we are still confirming however we have confirmed it by the reporter now he is saying that Jairam Thakur has in fact won his seat so that's the update uh, aapko update aaya hai abhi ki na ki Jairam Thakur jeet chuke hain aur abhi usko cross check kiya ja raha hai okay all right so that is what we are picking in from the live results aur hum aapke aur anas badal gaye hain sab yeah. right. BJP 33 right. Congress 32 right. and, and this is the Siraj seat Siraj seat where uh, Jairam Thakur the chief minister is the sitting chief minister from there it's a takur dominated seat it's a bjp stronghold of course where the bjp is raking up the numbers in uh, himachal is largely from the uh, mandi district as well as from uh, sirmor i just want to run you through uh, both of these districts where the bjp seems to have uh, gained quite a bit in mandi a substantial number of seats i think 9 seats in mandi the bjp is leading in 3 seats in sirmor so 12 out of 15 the bjp is leading there uh where is where is the congress getting its numbers from uh as far as uh uh himachal pradesh is concerned look at the shimla seats the shimla seats the congress is getting 5 the bjp only getting 3 uh, and of course uh, we have the uh, outer seats as well lahol spiti you have kinnor there again uh, the congress doing better and just quickly run you through uh the solan seats solan and una again the congress doing well uh, in the southern part in lower himachal as it were the congress having 8 seats the bjp only 1 So lower Himachal seat, Solan Una, uh, the Congress doing well uh, in the middle part of the state in Mandi, in mm. Kangra, uh, in Sirmor, the BJP doing well. But it's 33, not about 32. urban pockets right now. In fact, in the urban pockets, it's Congress that is doing well, and in the rural belt of Himachal, it is the BJP. And if you look at uh, Hamirpur and Bilaspur as well, there again the Congress, uh, I think, is uh, last I checked, was doing slightly better. Yes, five to three. uh this again is important again populated pockets hamirpur bilaspur uh, shimla of course the capital where again the congress was doing well but in the middle part in mandi in sirmor in kangra that's where the bjp seems to be doing well and mind you these are all thakur dominated belts as well one of the other good things that's happened is the independent candidate there were four who were leading now it's come down to three i suspect one of the seats is a fight between a bjp rebel and a sitting and, and a bjp candidate and therefore i think uh, you might see that figure coming down as well i said this to you guys last uh, yes. last time as well that the number of independents comes down the bjp does better the number of independents goes up the congress does better the the uh, the only pollster who said it's a dead house that is today's chanakya said yeah. 33 and 33 it, it seems like to be hovering around <laughs> that number because the congress and the bjp are actually flipping while we were going across to jack on the wall it was the bjp which was ahead now it's the congress with its nose ahead just by one seat ladies and gentlemen this is how it's translating himachal seems to be the one where there will be a dead heat but prime minister narendra modi the bjp breaking not just their own record but breaking all records breaking all records if these leads stay and they are slowly consolidating into wins even pockets where earlier bjp candidates were trailing they are now gradually winning alpesh thakur is leading from gandhinagar south hardik patel is leading from viramgam so all those that entire triumvirate out of that jignesh mewani is trailing gopal italia of the amadmi party trailing the bjp is celebrating dol baj rahe hain nagade baj rahe hain aunty ji is are also dancing along with the uncles everybody is outside they are celebrating pallavi jo pallavi ghosh is joining us at this point pallavi whereabouts are you Well I'm right over here because there's a parliament session also going on but clearly the parliament will today focus on the electoral results in Gujarat as well as in Himachal Pradesh I mean uh, if you could look talk quickly about Gujarat uh, the performance of the Congress party I'm not very surprised because I spent over 21 days and I would watch that the Congress party was actually not doing much on the ground there were local state leaders who were complaining of the fact that they are parachuting of leaders from the center which even the BJP does but the bjp also gives the importance to the state or the local leaders the congress party just doesn't do that second a complete disinterested campaign it's like they had already accepted the fact ki hamara kuch nahi hoga so why should we even make that effort to campaign and third they kept on asking that if rahul gandhi was in neighborhood maharashtra what stopped him from carrying the yatra at least to the bells where the congress party has been traditionally strong the tribal the rural and the saurashtra area mm. what the congress party of course is hoping for and they all eyes glued is 
what is going to happen in Himachal Pradesh because that would be a saving grace. But beyond that, two important quick pawns, Rahul Gandhi just did not campaign, but Priyanka Gandhi Wadra extensively campaigned in Himachal Pradesh. Should the Congress party win in Himachal Pradesh, will it be Priyanka Gandhi's time in the sense within the Congress party? Because remember, the woman cut just does not work for her and the Congress in UP. And then Priyanka Gandhi Wadra, if she's able to swing it for her party in Himachal, where I think the Congress certainly did run a pretty well-organized campaign, focus on local leadership, importance to local leaders, not making personal attacks on the Prime Minister. It could be the beginning of Priyanka Gandhi Wadra perhaps stepping out beyond Himachal Pradesh to other upcoming state elections. Okay.